Today I'm going to be fixing up and restoring this old Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES. I got this off of eBay. It's actually in working condition, which was, I was surprised when I got it, but man, this thing is beat up. It's got a couple jinglies inside of it. It's very yellow, and it's just got a whole bunch of grime, a bunch of the corners all chipped up. So I'm going to do my best to restore this. I'm going to paint it up a little bit, make it look a little different, but we're going to get this thing looking really cool. Let's go.
Well, it's finally done. I finally finished painting and restoring this old SNES unit. I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit different. Instead of returning it to its like factory gray state, I wanted to paint it, make it nice and bright and vibrant. Just had some fun with some colors because I've never really done anything like that. So I painted the base of it a nice little green color, kind of watermelon or something. And then I got the top of it, the cartridge opening and the little eject button are green as well. And then I got the blue base on the top shell. I kept the buttons purple, the default colors, just because I want to remind myself kind of where it came from. And I do like how it says the power and reset button on there right now. And yeah, just think it turned out really nice. Looks a lot cleaner than what it did. Uh, it was pretty nasty and pretty yellow before, and I just think it looks a lot, like a lot of fun right now. Uh, one thing I do want to say is the case itself felt super brittle. I don't know if that's a problem with all SNESs or, or maybe just this model, maybe it was stored improperly or something like that, but it just felt super brittle working on it and restoring it, moving it around, even just like touching the corners on some of the parts would just literally break off the corners, which is pretty wild. I've never really dealt with plastic that kind of fell apart like that. So uh, this one is just still super brittle feeling, but I'm just gonna treat it nicely. And I did actually build up some of the corners with some super glue and some like baking powder or soda. And it turned out pretty nice for what it, what it was. I've never really done anything like that. I, I Googled it and I found some people talking about it and it, it worked pretty well. Just some super glue with some layers of uh, the baking soda. And then I sanded it out and then I painted it up and it looks uh, pretty good for what it is. The next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna test out a game and make sure that it still works after everything it's been through. I literally got myself just a handful of games right here. These are, Most of these are from when I was younger. I definitely remember this one, the Toy Story game. I got a Killer Instinct game. I got Pac-In Time, some sort of Pac-Man game. And then I got a FIFA 96. Pretty sure this one was my brother's. I was never huge on the sport games. The game that I'm going to play is one that I remember a lot, and that's the Toy Story game. I never actually beat this game. I always remember it being pretty hard, but I always remember enjoying it just because I like the Toy Story movies. I actually got this controller as well. This is from a Super Famicom. It's not a SNES, but it is compatible. It's pretty much the same controller, the same plug and everything. And I do like to do a video on restoring this one as well. So we'll probably do that one next. And this one I'll probably return back to its gray state or maybe I'll paint it. I'm not really sure, but it's kind of a yellowy color right now. And I'm not even sure if it works. So we're gonna test it out and see if this works as well. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna power it on and make sure this bad boy still turns on. There we go, I saw a little flash, the red light, and boom, yes. And no noise or anything, maybe uh, no noise, we'll see. It's interesting, old consoles are just literally silent. All the new consoles and PCs have like fans in them, but these are just dead quiet, you don't hear anything. There's no real moving parts or anything, it's just kind of wild if you think about it. I'm surprised there's really no sound. I thought there'd be that Toy Story music playing. 1995 Toy Story. <laughs> Let's see, you got Woody there. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely remember this. I remember this game being quite challenging when I was younger. I'll probably be terrible at it right now. It's like a platformer from what I remember. Super Famicom. So it looks like the start button works. This controller probably works fine. Just a little bit yellowy. And man, the way this controller, uh, this console started, it was pretty nasty looking. There we go. Ow. Oh, ow. There you go. Ow. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. The bank. Oh. <laughs> kind of remember some things about this game. Boink. Is this a good thing? No, that hurt me. <laughs> oh, I remember that guy. Big, big stretch. Okay. I don't know where else I'm supposed to go. And... Is that it? Did it crash? Nope, it looks like that's uh, that was, that was the life. But yeah, anyways, it's a lot of fun to make these videos. I really enjoy it. It's just learning something and trying new skills and just really just having fun with it. 
anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you just enjoyed the process of it. And I just want to say thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing wonderful. Stay positive, happy, and healthy. And I'll catch you all in the next one.